Hello everyone, my name is Bob McCauley. I'm owner of the Watershed Wellness Center right here in beautiful Lansing, Michigan. And um, I really appreciate you joining us today. We're here each er and every week, Thursday at 3 p.m., Channel 16, Comcast. And uh, don't miss us because what we talk about here is how to achieve great health, how to achieve perfect health, the kind of health that most people only dream about. And I do it every single week and actually I do it every single day of my life. I try to achieve great health. Uh, I've been blessed with the, the knowledge of how to be healthy in a really natural way, not in an artificial way. Um, we're always worried about studies and what the latest information is. And everybody's waiting for a doctor or a team of researchers to come up with the latest cure and find, finally find that magic bullet, that one drug uh, that, that they've been looking for to cure cancer. I hear it from people all the time that uh, the cure for cancer, it's right around the corner. If we just keep putting money into this, um, just keep funding this with our tax dollars or uh, tax breaks for the pharmaceutical companies, whatever it is, you know, we're just going to find that cure. Well, the cure for cancer, I hate to tell you, um, as far as a drug is concerned, a pill or what other kind of therapy they want to try to invent or come up with, it, it's never going to happen. We're never going to find a cure for cancer. That's the bad news. The good news is <laughs> that the cure for cancer, well, it's right down in your grocery store. And I don't care where you go. You, could go, you can go to uh, Meyer or Kroger or, or ShopRite or any. It doesn't matter where you go. Just go in to the, to the supermarket, and there it is. There's the cure for cancer right in front of your face. Matter of fact, it's the cure for any disease. Now, where is it exactly? Tell me. Tell me. It, what, is it in the, in the dairy section? Are we going to find that in the meat section? No. Uh, it's not <clears throat> anywhere where you, where you see a can or a jar or a bag of any kind. Where are you going to find the cure for any disease, all disease, is in the produce department. You just got to go in there. Go and do your shopping in the produce department, and then no matter what you do, take, take, the, take your produce home, uh, try to buy organic. That's important. It's not obligatory, but it, it is important. Try to find it. Uh, try to take it home, and then just chop it up and make it into a salad or juice it. But whatever you do, don't cook it. And now you're on your way to great health, perfect health, the kind of health that most people only dream about. And uh, I dream about it every single night, but it's, you know, it's a pleasant dream. I don't wake up with a, a nightmare at the end of it all and saying, well, gosh, it was, it was all just a dream. There, there is no perfect health. There is no great health out there. We're all struggling just the same as anybody. The doctors are right, the pharmaceuticals are right, the researchers are right. We're waiting for the cure. A few years ago, it was Stantons. Oh, the Stanton drugs. They were all, they were going to cure everything. There was great hope. I'm sick and tired of hearing about hope. I want to talk about cures. I want to talk about really what, what belongs in the body and what doesn't belong in the body. And um, your body is capable of curing itself of any disease if you stop putting the wrong things into it and you start putting the right things into it. And that's what this show is all about, and that's what we do over at the Watershed Wellness Center. Uh, we're over on West Saginaw, just west of Kreitz Road, right across from Kroger's. You can find us at watershed.net if you want to look us up on the web. we got a, a ton of information out there, all sorts of articles that I've written, and my health philosophy, my six components of great health. It's all out there. Uh, you can come by and pick up my book, and of course you can order, order this right online. But this book, Achieving Great Health, has been just, well, it really sums up my entire health protocol. And I put it into simple, everyday, layman's terms that the average person, the couch potato, the person that is really not interested in being healthy, um, he doesn't really, he isn't really a, a health nut the way I am. I've been, I've been wanting to be healthy my entire life, especially once I got into track and cross country when I was in high school. And I, I began to make the first connection between what I put into my body and my performance uh, when I ran, whether it was cross country or track or whatever, um, I began to see that, geez, if I took vitamins, um, I'd do a little better. And if I wouldn't eat a bunch of potato chips um, every, each and every day, I might start feeling a little better. My coach, I remember, never, never forget him, Ed Townsend, uh, up there in Bath, you know, he told me, I went to Lansing Eastern, uh, in case anybody's wondering, he told me, he says, don't put that junk in your body that's not going to make you run good. And it was the first time anybody, that was my first lesson in health, to be honest with you. 
And from that point forward, uh, it was just I really wanted to be healthy because I, I equated nutrition and diet with performance. Well, I still, I'm still doing the same thing. I'm still out there running. I'm still running six-minute miles. Uh, I slowed down there for a lot of years because what I do here in Achieving Great Health, I've only been doing this for you know, eight, nine or ten years now. And it was a slow prog progression. I didn't just jump into it. So I, it took me, I'm 49 years old, and, you know, it, it was about, I was close to 40, and uh, that's when, you know, these things sort of appeared in my life. Um, the things that we're going to talk about today, water, uh, nutrition, exercise, these things, um, you know, they began to creep in one by one and uh, began to become introduced to me. And it was no mistake, because once I got a hold of them and I saw that they worked, I said, oh, I, I got to let the world know about this. And that's what I've been doing for the last... Well, nine, almost ten years now, letting the world know how you can be as healthy as you possibly can be. Health, folks, don't ever mistake it. Health is simple. It is so simple. I, mean, I, can, I can give it to you in a, in a breath. The HAD, H-A-D, hydrate, alkalize, detoxify the body. The six components of great health. Ionized water, spirulina and chlorella. Probiotics, the friendly bacteria for the body, raw fruits and vegetables, exercise, and a positive mental attitude. These, they're really simple to tell you, but they're not easy to do. Some of them are really pretty easy to get into your lifestyle, and that's what we're talking about here is lifestyle ch changes. But other ones, they're a little bit more difficult. And we'll get into that as the show unfolds today and as this show, Achieving Great Health, unfolds over the coming days and weeks and months and years because until I've said it all, I'm not going to get off of this camera. So you can expect me to be here each and every Thursday at 3 p.m. And if you missed the show, we're on Channel 16 Comcast, so if you missed the show, come on by the watershed, 6439 West Saginaw Highway. We're right across from Kroger. And, you know, you can pick up the DVDs um, and, uh, and we'll, we'll get you educated on what you need to do to be healthy, healthier than you ever imagined, healthier than you ever imagined you could possibly be in your life. Great health, perfect health, the kind of health most people in their lives just dream about. Boy, I wish I could, I, I wish I had the, the joints I had when I was a young person. Boy, I'd go out there, well, you know, and I would just, I'd knock them dead. I got some time on my hands here now that I'm 60 and I'm retired. I'm 70 and the kids are gone, but now I can't do it. The, you know, this is a terrible irony of life. Now that I got the time, I can't. Well, you can't because you choose not to. If you're sick, it's because you allow yourself to remain sick. 